What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. And this is a really cool little hack for Google Ads. I'm gonna show you right now. It's how to double your leads in Google Ads by using this one little trick in your headlines of your responsive search ads. All right, peeps, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go right over to my screen and we're gonna show you in a live Google Ads. Um, this is an actual ad, a responsive search ad for a plumbing client. I'm gonna show you this neat little trick. And it's basically just dynamic location insertion, right? So it's gonna insert the location, the real location based on the IP address of any user who sees your ad, right? This is so cool and it makes, it speaks to people and helps conversion rates because people feel like, oh look, they're local to my area and they know they can service me and they're, they're close to my city or whatever. Because a big problem with Google ads is out of location stuff because people think that they don't service their area because you have a plumber who's, you know, targeting, I don't know, this guy has like 75 locations, different cities. So now we can kind of hone in on exactly and speak to these people and based on what their location is. This is huge for conversion rates. So check this shit out. Okay, guys. So I'm going to try and hold this uh, on my phone, obviously. I'm going to try and hold this as steady as possible. But you're basically just going to go into your Google Ads campaign. You're going to go into your, um, your responsive search ad. You can see right here. And all you're going to do is shift in this bracket... And look at this, you can do a keyword insertion, which we don't do anymore just because they have a tendency to insert other brand names. And that's something I don't want to mess with. Uh, they have a little countdown thing for a timer that counts down to an event if you're running event type ads. But look at this, location insertion. Insert the location that triggers your ad, right? So it's going to pull in the location of the person who's looking at your ads based on their IP address. You can do it at a city, at a state level, country. You can add default text. So... If they can't pull a location, it just doesn't say it. It will say like the default text, which I have to look, but I would try and find, if you have a guy like this who's doing multiple different cities, like I think he has like 75 cities all across, um, I forget which state, Colorado or something like that. So I'd have to find like his home base and I would make that the default location. Cause you definitely wanna have a default location just in case um, Google can't pull an, a location and swap it in here. Otherwise it's gonna, you know, it's gonna show like, a bunch of random syntax stuff. So you don't want to do that. But this is going to help increase your leads. By, it's going to double your leads. I guarantee you it's going to double your leads because people convert way, way, way higher when they feel like you're speaking to them, right? So when someone sees our ad and, it's, and they're in, let's say I'm in, I'm in uh, Perkasie, which is outside of Philadelphia, right? It's a small town, rural town outside of Philadelphia. So if I'm looking for a plumber near me, let's say, I'm not going to click on an ad that says Philadelphia in it. I'm just not because I'm not anywhere near that. Even though I'm close to it, I'm not anywhere near that. But Philadelphia ads are still going to show for me because they might service my area, right? I'm in Perkasy. I'm only like 45 minutes from Philly. So they might still show me want to show their ads because they do service my area. But if I'm seeing in the ad copy Philadelphia, obviously I'm not going to freaking click that because I'm nowhere near Philadelphia. Now, if it said Perkasy, I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, I need a plumber. I'm in Perkasy. Let's do this. And I click the ad. So you're going to see insane click-through rates as well when you, when you implement this one little trick.